Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Brandon James. I am a lifestyle content creator. I work as a professional dancer and model and doing content creation, so I'm so glad you're here. It's been a little while since I posted a video, so I thought the best thing I could do is show you what I've been up to. It's kind of been hectic and crazy, and with everything opening up, so has my industry. I am a professional dancer, first and foremost. I do content creation and I love it so much, but I am still going out on auditions and castings and trying to make things happen. So I think we should go back to the beginning of when things started opening up, and that will be me getting ready to go to New York. <music> my room and I'm kind of exhausted but I want to show you my room because it's incredible um, so yeah I'm gonna do a little hotel tour so this is the front door got a nice long hallway love a mirror amazing and then we have a closet I'm gonna hang up all my stuff iron and then a fridge this is amazing and then the very first Full length mirror. This is my outfit for travel day. Custom Air, Air Force Ones, vintage pants. I think I got this shirt from H&M. And then just a hoodie, wearing my two Cartier rings and then my Majuri bracelet. Um, but yeah, this is just amazing. So I think I'm actually gonna run to the grocery store and get like some ginger ale and things like that and waters. Put that in there and then here is like a sitting nook with a TV, coffee, everything, huge bed. And look at this view. There's the view. And then you have the second full length mirror. I freaking love this hotel. They know what's up. And it's with like great lighting. And bonus, blackout curtains. Love that. So then we go through here and we have the bathroom. Let's turn on some lights. This is very nice because there is a hotel right there, but such a gorgeous bathroom. And then the best part, oh my gosh. I love it. The lighting's great. Oh, I'm like exhausted, but also so excited to be in the city. It just baffles my mind that I'm here and that this is happening. So yeah, me times three, because <laughs> there's me here, here, and here. So that's my room and then this is what it looks like. I cannot wait to sleep in this bed, honestly. Like it looks so big and comfy. <laughs> Look at this view. Reality sets in. It's 95% humidity. I'm sweating. I'm wearing all black so you can't see. It's pouring rain outside. And I went to Chipotle because it's the only thing open around here and it's too hot to walk, so. Yay. <laughs> but I'm honestly still so happy. Good morning. So it is my first official day in New York. I'm in the bathroom and I'm just getting ready. <coughs> I am just wearing a hoodie, a baseball cap, my Nike running shorts, and some Adidas shoes because I'm going to go to the gym. I know that sounds weird, but I'm here for an audition, so I'm going to use the like group workspace to do all the dancing. Um, but I also want to ride the bike and get my knees feeling okay. And I want to do some core work and just stretching. And then I want to sit in the jacuzzi and sauna. So have a plan, 
I'm all dressed. I was so excited to be here. Like, I honestly can't even believe it still that I'm here. Um, so yeah, let's go. <laughs> this is. I made it to New York, to Equinox. So I think my plan right now is I just read, I just read, I just rode the bike a little bit. I'm going to work on the routines in here. And then I think I'm going to go upstairs, which is like the pool, the sauna, the steam room, and the outside pool. Um, but I think it's close today because there was a freaking hurricane. Me from Orange County, just like walking outside not knowing, which is so sketch. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to have this room to myself and work on the routines. Round two of aroma pickup and I have a problem. And can you see that? Yeah, I just bought a pizza on the side of the road because it smells so good. I'm going to my room to order room service, but I also got this. Good morning. It is the day of the audition and I'm just getting ready but I just ordered a coffee and I just got off the phone with my mom, kind of freaking out, really nervous, but really excited. Just went over the routines a few times and I know them, like I know them like the back of my hand right now. So really all I can do is go in, do my best and hopefully book this show. Um, I'm a little nervous about like the singing and the acting portion, but at the same time, I'm just like, wanting to have a blast so yeah it feels very weird i think i still have like 15 10 minutes till i have to leave and it's only like literally i can see the building it's right across the street um which is just very very weird i don't know i'm in an interesting mood i'm so incredibly excited and grateful that i'm here and that i get to audition but man i want it so bad it's so bad now. <laughs> I tried to let myself like just be in the moment and being in the moment made me want to be in New York so bad and wanted to be in the show and just like be a part of this world for a year at least and get this opportunity so yeah that's where I'm at kind of freaking out <laughs> but I did just finish getting skincare on. Also, this room, like, the sunlight is spectacular. Um, I'm currently going over the routines, and then I have my binder. Inside I have, let's see, let's see to there. I have headshot and resume, I have the sides, I have the music for me and the music for the pianist. I'm so nervous. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I don't know why though, because I like know the combo and everything like that. I think it's just because I don't know what's gonna happen. I mean, in LA, when you go to an audition, you know that there's like a sign in and you pretty much know who's gonna be there when it comes to like musical theater people. You know the like heavy hitters or the ones who like train in it. So it's not an interesting like group it's not like you don't know anyone and you're going in cold turkey it's like oh here's my friends they're the ones who kind of like are on the cusp of like commercial dancer and musical theater dancer and i'm way more commercial dancer but i love musical theater and i feel like i could easily do it because that's what i did as a kid um also this phone is very heavy for me right now let's see 
boom. Um, yeah, so it's an interesting group because you know who's going to be there and you don't really have to worry about like not sizing anyone up, but just kind of like being in the moment. Whereas here, I don't know a single soul, which is great because I can dance as hard as I want and like do whatever I want and nobody knows me, nobody's seen me. So I'm kind of like that dark horse, which is cool. But at the same time, I don't have anyone to be like, hey, what are the counts? Or like, hey, are we in the same group or stuff like that? Like that stuff is kind of great when you're home, but at the same time, I'm just gonna go and do my best right now. Sorry, I totally just got distracted by they're doing construction right here and this whole building is open and there's just like a bunch of birds that flew down and just fully distracted. You can see where my mind's at. Um, but yeah, it is 10.50. I have about 10 more minutes and I'm going to like get fully ready and then walk on over. So I am all ready to go. I'm just wearing an all black outfit. I have to go fill up my water bottle, but I'm ready to go. Feels insane. Let's go audition. I just auditioned for Broadway. <laughs> was insane. I was so nervous. And yeah, I just got done. I don't know how I feel. I feel like I did really well and I danced really well and I smiled and I was gracious and just enjoyed the moment and enjoyed getting to audition in New York. It's my very first time. The only other times I've come here has been for jobs that were already um, booked in LA. But yeah, I'm kind of at a loss for words right now because it just seems so insane that I'm here and that I did it and I was so nervous and there was only 12 people in the room, 12 guys. I don't know for how many spots, but it's a full ensemble needed. Um, <laughs> they only have four, I think, already cast and then the girls went before us and there was 12 girls down to six, and I think they were looking for three. So, yeah, I don't know how many guys they're looking for. I just wanted to document this. <sighs> this is huge, and I really, 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 really want it now. I wanted it before, and I was really nervous, but I think being in the room and getting to see the choreographer and the producers and everyone and being in New York. I sang and feel good about it. Like that's the most wild thing ever. Um, yeah. I'm really trying not to cry because I'm so happy, proud. Yeah, there's so many emotions right now. Proud is one of them. I stuck with it and I'm making it happen. And if it's not this, that's gonna be okay. I am having so many emotions. I'm gonna head to the gym right now because I feel like I need to just like work out a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to dinner with Megan Sanit, which just makes this whole day so much better because I freaking love her and haven't seen her in so long. So we're gonna go get drinks and then I don't know what I'm gonna do, but. <sighs> I did it. Auditioned for Broadway. <laughs> okay. So I decided that I was going to go to the gym because I literally just have too much energy and I'm not meeting Megan for another three hours. And I can't just sit in this room right now. So I am gonna walk to the gym, go do like a basic stretch and then sit in the jacuzzi and sauna because I haven't danced that hard in a very, very, very long time. So I'm gonna go do that. Let's go. I just finished up at the gym. I got my to-go pizza. I need to go back to the hotel. I'm gonna shower real quick. 
um, and then go meet Megan for drinks and dinner. I'm so excited. Also, I look so shiny and red. It was a hard workout, but it was good, and I like had to roll out my body because I was in some pain, so hopefully I'll be good tomorrow. I am back from drinks with Megan. I got myself two pieces of pizza, and I think I'm gonna call it a night for tonight. I just am gonna drink a ginger ale, pizza. He gave us a free shot and it just hit me, so I'm feeling good. <laughs> I'm also very shiny from my oil. Um, I guess it's from my oil, it's not, because I was drinking. Um, but it's been a great night. I'm so happy, so yeah, see you tomorrow. Good morning, I am off to the pool. I'm gonna go lay out. I might do a little bit of a workout first just to feel like I did something today, but Actually, I don't even know if it's dinner, which is kind of worrisome. Well, that is very bright. Um, but I'm going to the blonde with him, and I think he's coming to pick me up. I don't know. Is he driving? I don't know. But I was just doing my hair, and I literally just got out of the shower, and I kind of like it messy. Tell me what you think, but like, I like it messy. I like it choppy and just kind of like, we don't know what just happened to it, you know? That's the vibe we're going for. That's what it's looking like right now. And I'm too lazy to change it. Also, I'm not changing it because it's like 92 degrees outside and I know it'll get weird after that. So that's what I'm doing. I have yet to pick out my outfit. We're kind of going to like a nicer place. So I feel like I should dress up, but um, I don't really want to, so we'll see. <laughs> So I'm wearing all new vintage pieces. This is the vintage polo that I got with the vintage Levi's and then the Vuitton necklace and my Soma. Look who's here. Look who it is. Exhausted, but I'm heading to meet Brooke at Bryant Park. Just wearing a little H&M vest, um, my new Zanga jeans, and the vintage boots. I honestly don't know about this outfit. I just it's hot as hell, and this is all I have, so this is what we're going with. <laughs> so let's go. New York for me was really incredible. It was the first time I've flown to New York for an audition of this magnitude. I've been flown out for jobs, but I've never flown to do a final callback. And it meant a lot to me. I was extremely nervous. I worked with a vocal coach. I spent hours of training and learning the dances. And it was really exciting. It was my very first Broadway audition in person. And I wouldn't change it for the world. That experience, that week in New York, or like week and a half in New York was absolutely incredible. 
I loved this day and everything, and I just wasn't sure I was going to talk about it because a lot of the time you don't talk about the jobs you didn't book. We only talk about the stuff that we do. And I think it's really important for anyone watching to know that at this level, a lot of the time you're hearing no's a lot more than you're going to be hearing a yes. Um, so I did. I auditioned for Broadway and I found out I didn't book it. And that's okay. It is just the name of the game. You're going to get a thousand no's for one yes. And that's just what's going to happen. It was hard to hear because it was a show that I thought I would be great in. I wanted to be a part of it. The crew, the company that was already cast and the choreographer were incredible, are incredible. Um, and I wanted the opportunity to be on Broadway. I definitely think that that is something that during the pandemic I opened my eyes to a little bit more. I always thought I wanted to be more of this tour route and commercial and stuff like that, which I absolutely do. And I kind of looked at New York as kind of far off in my career when in actuality that was speaking to me a lot more during the pandemic. The art of Broadway and doing the shows and live theater and everything is really exciting. So I definitely want that opportunity. And then next is Vegas. I went to Vegas right after I got back from New York. It was a very quick turnaround. I think I had two, maybe three days at home, um, basically unpacking one suitcase to repack another suitcase. And that's because I got an opportunity to audition for an artist for a residency in Las Vegas at a new hotel. And I was super excited. <laughs> So I am literally in Vegas at the Paris Hotel uh, and I am heading to go get food if I don't get hit by this taxi. Don't worry, that beeping wasn't for me. That one was. Um, but I am off to get food. I just finished my first day of this audition. I made it all the way through. Um, and we have to be back tomorrow even earlier for the second portion. So I'm gonna go get food and then I'll see you in the room. So basically what it was, was flying to Vegas. I spent one whole day kind of just getting a lay of the land, stretching, working out, making sure I'm ready for the audition. The next day was an 8 a.m. call time. We pretty much spent the entire day learning choreography, auditioning, two routines, and I think I went maybe 10 times, 11 times dancing in front of them for different cuts, different groups, everything. And then at the very end, they kept around 35 of us guys, and I think like 37 girls or something like that, and we all came back the next day for a callback. The next day was earlier and we signed in and then we basically did the same thing, although the first dance that we learned was a new one and it was a partner dance, so we all got paired up. And then we went through the whole thing again where you learn a routine, you perform it, they cut a bunch of people, you perform it again, they cut more people. Then you go back and you do the routines from the day before, then they cut more people, then you do the second routine from the day before, then they cut more people. And it got down to 11 of us guys and I think there was... 12 girls um and we all got put on film and that was it we basically did for the guys there was two separate combos one was a very strong cool combo and then the other one was a very feminine sexy beautiful combo that we had to do and it was strong and just i loved it um so we had to do those two and then we did the partner number and we all got filmed and then since i can tumble a little i did an aerial got filmed and then it was done. And then later that night, we found out that we got to send a video of our own introducing ourselves. So very much like this, I was just like, hi, I'm Brandon and this is me. Um, so I sent that off. And unfortunately, I found out I didn't book that one as well. But it was an incredible opportunity. And I think I'm talking about this and I want people to know that like, 
there are so many incredible opportunities that don't come to fruition for you and it doesn't take away from the experience i think a lot of the time we're like if we didn't book it then it means nothing but in actuality i got down to the top 11 people for a brand new broadway show and then top 10 people for a brand new vegas residency that is so spectacular and i don't take enough time to tell myself that it's great so i know that you're not taking enough time we're way too hard on ourselves and even though I didn't book either of them, I still wanted to make this video and I wanted to show the excitement, the ups, the downs, the getting ready, what I do, how I pack, everything like that, because it really does mean the world to me that this is my job. And over the past two years, basically, of this pandemic, I haven't been able to do it. So to come back so strong and to feel like I stuck with it, I'm still following my dreams and opportunities are coming and they're bigger than anything I've ever dreamt of and opportunities that truly could change my life and the course of what I'm doing and I'm just so thankful. I just wanted to make this video because I wanted it to show that even though everything on the outside I'm smiling, I'm happy, a lot of the time in this industry things don't go your way and that's okay. It's really hard to hear and know consistently but things will happen, amazing things are coming and I hope you stick with it. So. I hope this little catch up and video spiel was good. I'm so excited to be making videos again and to be home and to just be like back on my YouTuber things. I have a few ideas and I filmed a few things. So if you'd like to, I'd love if you give this video a thumbs up, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. It's just Brandon Beltran. I'm also on TikTok having fun. I think that one's Brandon James Beltran. Um, but I'm so glad you're here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.